it's a theorem in this a connected graph capital G is Eulerian if and only if all the vertices of capital G are of even degree. Uh, since it is uh, said as if and only if we need to prove both the sides means we need to consider the connected graph to be Eulerian and we need to prove that uh, the vertices are of even degree and then the otherwise that is converse considering a graph having uh, a connected graph having all the vertices to have even degree, we need to prove that it is Eulerian. So first we'll start with the necessary condition that is assuming that capital G is Eulerian, that means this capital G will contain an Eulerian circuit. Means every time when we meet an internal vertex, let us say V i, i refers to internal, it goes through two new edges. Uh, one edge for entering and another edge for exiting without repeating any of the edges because it is it has to uh, conform to Eulerian circuit where uh, edges cannot get repeated. Hence, the degree of each internal vertex that is VI, that is degree of VI should be twice the number of times this vertex occur in the circuit. When we start from the initial vertex, we'll say that vertex as V suffix S, we start. We exit through an edge and in the end, we enter the same vertex through another edge. Hence, the degree of that start vertex is also 2. Therefore, all the vertices of capital G are of even degree because here it is 2 times something. Here it is 2 itself. That means the final degree will also be even only. Now, considering the sufficient condition means we are going to assume that all vertices of capital G, which is a connected graph, are of even degree. Now, in that graph, if we start constructing an Euler line starting from start vertex Vx, Vs, since every vertex is of even degree, we can enter into every vertex through an edge and e exit from the same vertex through another edge. It continues till we reach Vs, that is the start vertex, means the graph will have an Eulerian circuit. That means the graph is Eulerian.